given, that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. Sagittarius, it's your turn. It's your girl, D Virgo, also known as D Virgo Tarot. Sagittarius, it's your turn. Coming at you from London, in the heart of this lockdown. Right now, we got our Prime Minister talking about they want to get stricter on us. We ain't listening. They're locking down parks. They're doing the most. But I need you all to remain calm in this time. To take this time to know yourselves. To look between the lines. Clear and concise messages of Sagittarius to their spirit. My messages are timeless. Ooh. They might not resonate for everyone. But if you listen to the end, I'm sure something will. And just because it says Sagittarius... My readings could be for everyone. So, whatever resonates for you, that's for you. So right now we have three cards out. Clear and concise messages. Ooh! For Sagittarius. So your overall energy. Ooh, my God. The sun. You take it out. The sun. It's a beautiful card. I'm going to read the card to you so you understand what this card means for you. The sun. Plans that work out perfectly. Amazing ideas that lead to rewards and commendations. Gratitude for the blessings of life. This is going to be your overall energy. I say the month of April, but I told you my readings are timeless. So there's some guidance that comes with these cards. So let's see what the cards have to say for you. Overall energy. Find something to stand this up for you. So your overall energy is the sun. Put them more into view. So your first card is the six of winter. For those that don't know, these are the fairy tarot cards. I love them and I love them. I use them a lot. They're more descriptive. The six of winter tells you that positive changes are on their way. It's a welcome relief from troubled times. Some of you may be traveling or relocating. This tells me as soon as the lockdown, <laughs> the lockdown stops, some of you are getting the fuck out of here. You're gonna go be with that boo. You're not gonna stop. You're gonna go after that thing that you said, you know what? You thought you'd never do. You're just going to go do it. You're going to go visit that place that you was thinking about. This is the time for reflection. What is it that, what is that thing that you always wanted to do? What is that thing or that job that you always wanted to be? This card is telling you. If your situation is looking down right now, you're broke, ain't got no money, the kids are getting on your nerves, your man's cheating, this card tells you it's about to change. The universe is about to shift some things in your favour. The Five of Summers. It's a beautiful card. Hope you can see it. The Five of Summers 
told you to trust that there is a reason for everything that happens. But you need to remove yourself from the negative emotions of others and, focus, and not focus on the things that frighten and worry you. So some of you are focusing on what's going on out here and it's worrying you. But I'm here to tell you, don't be worried. Change is a must. If you're a Bible reader, then you know it had to happen. If you're not a Bible reader and you're non-religious, you also know about evolution. Things are ever changing. There's always another plan. Don't worry. Focus on yourself. I feel like there's some of you that have just gone through a breakup. Like someone's just left you and you don't understand why. I'm feeling like... I'm feeling like some of you just want to call this person and you not you don't have closure but you want closure and you're feeling to call because you're so used to the storybooks and the films telling you that you need to have closure but I'm here to tell you that it's finished it's over the universe took him or her away from you for a reason there's better coming. Listen, sometimes we think we know what's best for ourselves. But God, the universe, knows what's best for us. So I know it hurts right now. I know you're hurting right now. But maybe it's you the one that's left. But you're still hurting. I hear to tell you that you made the right choice. You've made the right decision. It had to happen. It's saying it had to happen. It said there was a reason. There was a reason why it happened. You're going to be just fine, Leo. You're going to be just fine, Sagittarius. Trust the process. I see you here sitting down thinking about the person or the person sitting about thinking about you. This card is the seven of autumn. It tells you to have patience and don't worry. Take this time to rest and plan your next steps. Who knows? If you plan it right, Someone's going to invest in you. If you plan it right, someone is coming to invest in you, Sagittarius. So even though things might not seem that great right now, these cards are telling you, you had to go through that tower moment. You had to lose some people. You had to lose him or her or that job or that thing. And for some of you, that child. You know, I've been. But don't worry. These things build resilience. They come to make us stronger. Have patience. Take this time to rest. You've been working too hard, Leo. At least you get to rest. It's the upside, right? Things are going to work out in your favour. They're going to work out. Don't worry. Ten of Winters. It's like a Ten of Swords to me. I told you. It's over. The pain that you was feeling that they caused you, it's over. And if it isn't, it's time to get things moving. It's time for you to take action, to make steps, to make the 
pain stop? Because some of you are still in a relationship, being abused, whether it's verbally or physically. This call, this card calls for an end. It puts an end to those things. It puts an end to struggles. It puts an end to lack of mindset. It puts an end to lack of finances. The Ten of Winters, the resolution of difficulties. Come on. A weight lifted off your shoulders. Come on, people. I've been there. You know, I've been in a relationship and I stayed in it for 10 years. You know, I'm strong again. But, you know, I know what it's like when your power is taken or you hand your power away. Take it back. Take back your power. This could be your children causing you problems. Some of you are being abused by your kids. I'm here to tell you, it doesn't make you weak. I understand. But it's time to stand and take back your power. It's time to set boundaries. If you don't stand for anything, you'll fall for anything. You must stand for something. This is the end to all of your struggles, all of your worries, those sleepless nights, those worrying about where the money's gonna come from. The universe is telling you it's gonna be all right, Leo. I love you, Leo. Send in love and light. I love you, Sagittarius. Send in love and light. The universe is telling you it's going to be all right, Sagittarius. I love you, Sagittarius. Send in love and light. Oh, we gonna play now, ready for the show. I'm about to take down, you already know. Get the fuck out of my face now, yeah, you gotta.